What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video, I'm gonna show you three ways to deal with sibilant vocals in Studio One. So I got the idea for this video from the Studio One Facebook group where someone was asking, does Studio One have a de -esser? And this always turns into a debate because in my opinion, Studio One does not have a dedicated de -esser. Studio One has a compressor with a de -esser preset. That's not the same thing as a dedicated de -esser, in my opinion. Uh, in the future, I hope Studio One does add a de -esser because, I mean, pfft, even Pro Tools has one. Uh, so let's take a look at how you can handle some harsh S's in your vocals. So the first way is going to be that way that we just kind of talked about, the compressor with the de -esser preset. Uh, so we can set that preset to de -esser. and what this does is it takes the low cut and pulls it up to 6k takes the high cut pulls it back to 12k so essentially now the compressor is only compressing between 6 and 12k uh, I don't really like using this way to handle S's because you need to find that S and to do that you need to move the low cut and high cut around and the way this is set up I have to move this individually and it just you know takes time to really find exactly where it is. And other reason here this is a preset so this will need some tweaking you can't just put a preset on something and hope that it works. So this attack and release is a little too fast for me for a de -esser. I'm going to slow this release to yeah, about 100 milliseconds. Attack, I'm going to bring this up to 5, and I'm happy with the 12 to 1 ratio. From here, we just need to pull back some threshold and get some compression going. Uh, I've got a vocal here from Coretta King. Let's take a listen with uh, the compressor bypassed. Stand by me, stand by me. If the sky we look upon. So that word sky has got a harsh S and that's what we're dealing with. So let's turn the compressor back on and let's lower the threshold and get some compression. Stand by me, stand by me. If the sky, stand by, if the sky, we. Okay, I can start hearing it get knocked down there. So this is with the compressor. If the sky. And without it. If the sky. We All right, much better. Uh, the next way I'm going to show you is with the multiband compressor. And the reason I like using this is because I can set this range. Right now, the high, mid, and high is set from 1.2K to 4K. Uh, let's take this high, and we're going to set it to... Let's do about 12K and high mid. Let's set this to about, uh, let's do 4K. And now I can solo this and I can move this around and it'll move both of them here. So kind of get back to, I think we're at what, about 4K. And we can solo this as well and listen to it and make sure that that strong S is in between these frequencies. Let's mute the piano. And we hear it is there pretty prominently. So that's what we want. Uh, so uh, let's bring the piano back. And same thing with here. I'm going to change these settings. Let's take it off auto speed. I'm going to do the same five millisecond attack, about 100 millisecond release. And this ratio two to one is low uh, for what I want to do. So let's get something more aggressive like a eight to one. And then from here, we're just going to lower some threshold to get some compression and let's take a listen to what we got. If the sky If the sky All right, see if like it's releasing a little fast. Let's move that up to 200. If the sky All right, and let's bypass it. If the sky and with it. If the sky all right, much better. So the last way I'll show you is using Melodyne Essential. So if you have Personosphere, which comes with Studio One 5 Professional, or you have Studio One 5 Professional, you have a full license for Melodyne Essential. And even though this is the most affordable version of Melodyne, it comes with a sibilance detection, which is new in Melodyne 5. So I'm going to take, let's find that phrase. If the sky. All 
right? Separate that and we'll jump into Melodyne here. And let's zoom in. Okay, so let's still get this zoomed in the way I want it. And Melodyne 5 will detect these S's for you. There we go. Okay. Let's see where that is. So you see this with these lines here? That is a S. Let's hit play. We stand by me. If the sky. Okay. Yeah. But once you have your S here, if we uh, click this, we have, I've actually forgotten where it is. Let's see. Fate, Siblings Balance Tool, here we go. So once we select this, we can now grab this, click and hold, and just pull our mouse down. Let's try negative 80 and see how that sounds. Stand by me. If the sky... Yes, yeah, way too much. Let's try about 25. Stand by me. If the sky... Yeah, that's better. So let's... Um, I just want to quickly bypass Melodyne, but... Stand by me. If the sky... That's better. We the... Let's do maybe 35. See how that sounds. Stand by me. If the sky... Yeah, I like that. So those are three ways there that you can use in Studio One, almost without using third-party plugins. I mean, Melodyne is a third-party plugin, but it's included in Studio One Professional. So uh, that's three ways that you can deal with harsh S's in your vocals. If you like this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. All right, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. If you're interested in having me mix your song and my mastering engineer, D. Lyles, master it, check my link tree in this video description. From there, you can email me, you can visit my website, and check out mixes that I've done.